This Hyper 10-in-1 USB-C hub finally allows you to use two monitors with your M1 base Mac. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here, and if you have not done so already, please take a couple seconds and subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. Now there are a lot of USB-C hubs out there, a lot of Thunderbolt hubs, but this one is pretty special. This is the Hyper Hyperdrive 10-in-1 USB-C hub, and it works with all of the latest Macs. And in particular, it's extra useful if you have an M1-based Mac. See, as good as Apple's first Mac custom silicon is, it doesn't allow for the use of multiple external monitors. Apple's M1 Pro and M1 Max processors allow you to use multiple external displays, but the MacBook Air, the entry-level MacBook Pro, the 24-inch iMac, all are limited to one external display. If you do have the M1 Mac Mini, you can use two external displays. One will have to go out over Thunderbolt, the other will have to go out, or USB-C, and the other one will go out over HDMI, but you're still limited. This tool allows you to use two external 4K monitors at the same time with any of those machines and no additional drivers to download. Plus, it's a pretty capable USB-C hub. Let's talk about it in a little more detail. As I mentioned, this guy has 10 ports on it. Let's go ahead and look at them starting on the far left with our audio jack. So the first one is a 3.5 millimeter audio port. It's a dual purpose, so it's speaker and microphone. Here we have a USB-C port. This one does five gigabits per second of data. We have two USB-A ports. Each of these can do five gigabits per second of data as well. Then we have our two outputs. These are both HDMI. The first one can do five 4K at 60 hertz, and then the second one can do 4K at 30 hertz. So whenever you have them connected, one can be at 60 and the other can be at 30 hertz. Looking at the bottom, we have gigabit ethernet here, and then we have another USB-C port. This is great. This thing can actually deliver 100 watts of power to your Mac. So if you have a 6-inch MacBook Pro, 14-inch MacBook Pro, you can deliver up to 100 watts of USB-C PD power. So plug this one into power, the other one into your Mac, and you got up to 100 watts of charging speed. Following it up on the last side, aside from regulatory information, we have our two SD card readers, regular SD and micro SD. These are both capped at just over 100 megabytes per second. Some of Apple's latest machines don't have a lot of these ports. If we're looking at a MacBook Air, my M1 MacBook Air, I don't have Ethernet options. I don't have SD or micro SD card readers, and I don't have any USB-A ports. This hub can be immensely useful, but I don't need to demo how all of those ports work for you guys. You can look at the ports and determine if they are the right ones for you. Personally, I would have preferred an additional USB-C port or so. Especially on the MacBook Air, there are only two USB-C ports, and when I connect this in, it takes one away, and one of these goes to power. It makes it a little more limited. I basically still only have two that I can utilize, and I'd like a couple more, but that's just me. There is at least those USB-A options that can still do five gigabits per second of data, so I can't fault them too much. But what I really wanna talk about is those two HDMI ports. I think that is what is most impressive about this guy because there are many people who have these M1 machines and cannot use two external monitors at the same time. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. There's no drivers to download, it's plug and play. Very easy to do. So I'm gonna switch up the set, bring some monitors on and show you how this works. Here we have our two displays set up and ready to connect with a Hyperdrive 10-in-1. Now we're gonna connect our Hyper 10-in-1 dual HDMI USB-C hub and connect it to our Mac. As I mentioned, this is the M1 MacBook Air. So here's what happened. When I connected the Hyperdrive to my MacBook Air and just plugged it in, immediately one display turned on and I'm using this. So this is an extended display and I'm now using one with my MacBook Air. We still need to get this one to activate and I'm gonna show you how to do it. As soon as I plugged the hub in, this disk image appeared on my desktop. We're gonna go ahead, open that up. Inside this folder is two options. The Windows Instant View, which is for Windows machines, and that macOS Instant View. We're gonna go ahead, open this up. 
We're going to give it access. We're going to open system preferences and allow the privacy that it's asking for. Okay, let's reopen Mac OS Instant View. And once I reopen the application, boom, my second display works. So now I'm running three displays on this M1 processor. So just show you this is extended at the moment, which means I can have different things on all these displays. I can drag this window up. You can see my Mac is just below on the bottom, so I can put this over here, boom, boom, boom. Move it to the right over here, wiggle, 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 or move it back down to my Mac display here. So I can open up a Safari window, move this to this side. I can open up Apple TV, start watching, and move that over to this side, and open up photos, anything else, you know, down here on this machine. So I'm using three monitors, two external displays and the one built-in display on the M1 chip, which is only capable of powering one external monitor. And yes, we can make changes to this if we go to our dock and we open up system preferences and I go down to displays, I do have the ability to kind of look at all these. So I can rearrange them however I need to. I can put the, the little one if I had it on the left or in the middle, however you need to rearrange it, you can do that from system preferences, but it works great. I see nearly imperceptible lag perhaps, but really nothing at all. These works just like they're natively connected. If you need to use two monitors with your M1 MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, iMac, anything like that, dang. The Hyper 10 in one is probably the best way that I've seen so far to pull it off. So that's it, that is the Hyper Drive. 10 in one dual 4K HDMI USB C hub that is perfect for your M1 based Mac, but it will also work with a bunch of other Macs as well. Use it for your MacBook Pros, use it on your iPad. This thing is versatile. If you'd like to grab one for yourself, I have a link for it down below in the description. Go ahead and pick one up. Let me know your thoughts in the comments or on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Otherwise, stay tuned. You know, I've got another video heading your way.